Welcome to our video presentation of the Transformatech Broker and MQ Monitoring Solution. In this video, we're going to continue showing you the UI component of our monitoring solution. In our last video, we showed you how to add a Q Manager and its resources to our configuration, and in this video, we're going to show you how to do a broker and some of its resources all the same. As you know, our solution is a multifaceted approach to monitoring by providing alerts and warnings on your most critical queues, channels, execution groups, and message flows. We're also going to show you how you can become proactive to the issues that are taking place in your systems by providing email notifications the second a resource goes down in your environment. We're going to continue going over our simple UI and showing you how to create a monitor configuration for the runtime component. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Right now you can see we're on the configuration um, screen just how we were in our old video. It's a little bit different than it was um, before because we've updated to a new version and we've added a lot of really great features. So as you can see here, we have the configuration name. Uh, it's already in there. We have a space for the license key that's going to need to be applied for the runtime. Uh, again, we have our polling interval and our alerting interval just to refresh what these are. Our polling interval is going to be how often we're checking for an update or how often we're checking for a change in our system. So usually this is going to be set to a few seconds. Here we have it set to one minute. Then we have the alerting interval, which is going to be how often we're getting alerts on the changes in our environment. So we don't want to get inundated with alerts if this is set really low. So here we have it set to 10 minutes. Again, we have our alert log type. We have three different options here. You can either uh, send an email notification, and we have all the settings for that right here, uh, right out to a file, or we can do both of those things. So for this video, we're going to show you how we can add a broker to our monetary configuration. So we're going to go down to our discovery tree. We're going to right click where it says brokers, click add broker. Add in all the information for the broker. It's Q Manager. It's going to be localhost and its port number. And all we have to do is hit add. So this is going to go out and get all the information related to this broker. It's going to pull in all of its execution groups, all of its applications, and all of its message flows. So it's going to make it really easy and really quick for us to build a configuration for monitoring. Because instead of having to manually type in execution group names or message flow names, which are often very long and we can possibly have a typo, that's going to cause an issue later on. So for our monitoring, we can solely monitor just the broker if it's up or down, just an execution group, you know, just an application, or we can monitor the entire broker structure. So the first thing we're going to do is add an execution group just by itself with no message flows or any applications underneath it. So it's really easy. All we have to do is select the execution group, hit add, choose our config file, hit OK, and it's going to be added to our monitoring configuration, and its parent is going to be added as well. This way we're monitoring the broker and we're monitoring the execution group at the same time. So now also if we wanted to monitor maybe a message flow, we can choose from a different execution group. All we have to do is simply go to our discovery tree, choose our message flow, hit add, Select our configuration, hit OK, and now that message flow has been added to our configuration, as well as its parent, as in the execution group node. The execution group's node parent, which would be the broker, has already been added, so it's not going to add it again. And we can see that our message flow has been added successfully to our monitoring configuration. So from here, we can see the statuses of the different uh, things that we have in our monitoring configuration just from a high level view. So if you go to the broker, you can see that we have a red stoplight here, which means there's a resource that stopped, possibly an execution group, as we can see that, maybe an application, or a message flow. Now we can go down to that message flow just to see exactly what's happening at the lowest level. We see this message flow is red, and its execution group is also stopped, so that's red as well. We can also go for a high level view by going back to the configuration and you can see about everything that's happening underneath that monitoring configuration. So we can see that we have a red light here so there's a broker that has a stopped resource. We can see here, to, we can click here to see which broker it is and we can go down the list to see what type of resources are potentially stopped. If it's execution group, we can see that, an application or a message flow. Now that we have our monitoring configuration, we can send this off to the runtime so we can begin sending out email alerts or writing off to a log file. Thank you for viewing this video from Transformatech Inc. on our MQ and WebStream Message Broker Monitor. Be sure to go to our website, transformatech.com. You can email us at sales at transformatech.com for more information. Or if you're a current customer and you're looking for some support, you can email us at support at transformatech.com. Be sure to check out our other videos on our monitoring solution, as well as our tutorials and how-tos for WebStream Message Broker and WebStream MQ. Thank you.